Welcome back to Describe World Channel. Have you ever wondered about the origins of all nations? It's truly fascinating to discover that the Bible actually addresses the source of the world's peoples, revealing that they all trace back to Noah. Join me on this new video series where we delve into the patriarchs of humanity, the ancestors of all nations. In our previous video, we explored the Semitic peoples, descendants of Shem. Today, we will focus on the African peoples, specifically the black people who are the descendants of Ham, known as the Hamites. I invite you to like the video and share your comments after watching, helping us reach a wider audience with our content. Together, let's uncover the origins of Ham, the ancestral father of the black people. After the cataclysmic flood that devastated the world, Noah and his family emerged as the sole survivors of humanity. God instructed them to repopulate the earth. The group consisted of eight individuals, including Noah, his wife, their three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and the wives of their sons. The Bible also reveals the origin of the black people, disclosing the ancestor of this ancient people. To learn about the history of the African people, Refer to Genesis 10, 6, 20. Understanding the origins of the black people requires grasping the identity of their father within this ethnic group. In this context, it is important to consider the appearance of Noah, the great ancestral father of all humanity, as well as his wife. Both Noah and his wife had mixed racial backgrounds, meaning they had ancestry from various ethnicities, this diversity resulted in children with different skin tones, colors, and features, reflecting the ethnic variety within their family. For instance, Brazil possesses a remarkable characteristic of ethnic diversity due to its history of colonization by the Portuguese, the presence of native indigenous peoples, and the arrival of African slaves. This diversity has made Brazil a nation where people from all origins around the world come together resulting in one of the largest mixed-race populations globally. It is common to see siblings with different colors and ethnicities in Brazil and other countries, with Mexico being a notable example of this phenomenon. Mexico has a significant population of mixed descendants from the intermixing between native indigenous peoples and European colonizers, primarily Spanish. The son of Noah who gave rise to the African people, the black people, was named Ham. Ham is considered the father of the African people, and it is through him and his wife that the black people originated. If you're interested in learning more about the history of Ham's wife or the wives of Noah's sons, please leave your comments below for future videos. In the realm of linguistic analysis of biblical names, it is both intriguing and captivating to observe that the name Ham carries a specific significance in Hebrew and Aramaic. Etymologically, Ham denotes the color of something burnt, essentially referring to a dark hue. This implies that Ham was described as an individual with dark skin. The meanings of biblical names often correlate with the ethnic and physical attributes of individuals, and can also be connected to aspects of their personalities. Ham is acknowledged as the progenitor of the black people. If you have any black relatives within your family or lineage, it is important to recognize that you are a descendant of Ham. Similarly, if you identify as a black person watching this video, know that you are a descendant of Ham, the son of Noah. The Bible also mentions that Ham was a married man with a wife, and fathered four sons who became the patriarchs of the black people. These sons of Ham are revered as the forefathers of various black nations and peoples, signifying their esteemed position within this lineage. The firstborn son of Ham and his wife was named Cush, also known as Cush. The name Cush literally translates to black, making him the foremost patriarch of the black people and the eldest son of Ham as well as the grandson of Noah. Cush is recognized as the ancestor of diverse peoples and lands, one of which is the Kingdom of Cush. The ancient civilization of Cush 
flourished in the Upper Nile region, present-day Sudan. Renowned for its prosperity and influence, the Kingdom of Kush boasted its capital in Mero, a city renowned for its wealth and flourishing trade. Existing for numerous centuries, Kush exerted dominance over other areas of Northeast Africa. Furthermore, several other cultures and peoples in Sudan and neighboring regions can be considered descendants of Kush. Although it is challenging to precisely determine the exact territory inhabited by the Kushites, as they occupied regions in both Africa and Southern Arabia, the Greeks referred to them as Ethiopians, signifying burnt or black faces. This article will explore the descendants of Ham, particularly the Kushites and their impact on the ancient world. The biblical account identifies Ham as the father of the African people, including the Kushites. The second son of Ham was named Mra, which literally means Egypt in Hebrew. It can also be interpreted as two Egypts or double fortress. The term Mra derives from Matzer, which conveys the concept of a fortress or fortified place. The descendants of Mra are conventionally associated with the ancient Egyptian population that inhabited the region we now identify as Egypt. The third son of Ham was named Phut, also known as Put in Hebrew. The name Phut, which literally means bow, refers to the ancient African tribes that were skilled hunters and relied on bows for hunting and sustenance. According to biblical references and historical sources, Phut is considered the ancestor of Africans there are theories suggesting that the descendants of Foot may have inhabited regions in both Africa and the Middle East, including Libya, Somalia, Nubia, and other areas in East Africa. Canaan, the fourth son of Ham and the fourth grandson of Noah through Ham's lineage, is not the ancestor of Africans but rather the Canaanites. The Canaanites were a prominent ethnic group that inhabited the region of Canaan and are mentioned in various parts of the Bible. They eventually became major rivals and enemies of the ancient Israelites. The descendants of Ham, namely Cush, Mra, Phut, and Canaan, populated the African continent after the flood, and also migrated to other regions. They reached Asia, including Australia, where they intermingled with the descendants of Japheth, particularly the tribe of Tarma forming united clans. This union gave rise to indigenous peoples with mixed African and Caucasian ancestry, contributing to the emergence of certain Asian groups. Furthermore, the descendants of Ham, through one of his sons, reached India and became known as the Dravidian people. These migrations and interactions shaped the diverse tapestry of human history, with different peoples sharing ancestral connections across continents. The descendants of Ham, specifically Cush, Mra, Foot, and Canaan, played significant roles in shaping ancient civilizations and cultures. The Kingdom of Cush left a lasting legacy in the Upper Nile region, while the ancient Egyptians emerged as one of the most remarkable and influential civilizations in history. The Kushites, with their prosperous trade, contributed to the development of Northeast Africa. Understanding their origins and migrations helps us unravel the complex tapestry of human ancestry and heritage. Stay tuned for our upcoming series, The Origins of Peoples According to the Bible, where we will delve deep into the histories of each nation, Feel free to leave your suggestions about which peoples you would like to see represented, as we will soon make videos covering these topics. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through history.